Hello everyone, Bam Ramirez here and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, excited to share about this. I got this today. Uh, this is What's in My Bag, aka Today's Howl. Uh, I got this from sell.phi and Facebook. Uh, this is from Sir, Sir uh, Mondo's collection, which is also a customer of mine here at the shop. So, I got 14 CDs here and I have, I can say, uh, Holy Grail CDs that I've been looking for in like 5 or 6 years since I since I started collecting CDs and yeah, started collecting or keeping CDs. So this is what's in my bag again. I got this for a total of 3,400, uh, consists of 14 CDs. We'll post the link on Facebook of their uh, uh, of their Facebook account here. I got 14 CDs here, but I think five are just for upgrades. Uh, I have. I just want to make sure that I have. I I, I keep the best copy that I can. like the CDs are in great shape. Uh, let's start with this one. The Ledger uh, Life is Sweet. This is released. As you can say, that's the UR trademark. There's a hype sticker. Uh, another band that I haven't he even heard yet, but uh, they're under Slumberland Records and I got this for like 100 pesos and I'm a huge fan of uh, Slumberland Records of course. So why not 100? This Mortal Powell, another CDs that I've been looking for in years. Uh, first album. This is a uh, first album includes the. I think this is the first. Or not. Includes the cover of Songs of the Sirens. Yeah, it it L all and in tears. So here's that uh, cover of theirs. Songs to the Siren, Siren by uh, Tim Buckley. Cover? Yeah. Lali Puna first album, uh, Tricot Tricoder. You still have two albums left if you're into this band. Uh, I, have, I, ha I already have it. And uh, this band is a German band, Electro Pop, or you could say they're under more music. You could say. Uh, Pioneer of the term of the sub this subgenre of the subgenre called glitch pop, even though at the time when they released this one, that term haven't even born yet. So, if you want to trace, I can I, if you want to trace where that uh, more of that kind of sound, I can I highly recommend this band, um, especially their album, uh, Picking the Books, Lali Puna, first album, Tricoder, uh, first. Favorite, I'll, uh, favorite, favorite track of this one is uh, where's the system on is my favorite track number five at I think seven system on is my favorite from this one <clears throat> another upgrade deluxe mint I know I have this uh, indie pop band if you're into clientele you might familiar with this band but if you haven't yet check this band out indie pop in general uh, this is their compilation I know I have this already but uh, again I just I will sell this one and I just wanted to keep a uh, better copy so I need to check my collection first uh, another another uh, indie pop <clears throat> in general this is trembling blue star lips that taste of theirs another upgrade of mine too uh, Trembling Blue Star is banned by Bobby Rotten, of course, from uh, The Field Mice and Beth Arzy. Beth Arzy from Aberdeen. Yeah, still in great shape, so I may keep this one. I know my older copy at home is not in great shape. Uh, Moja B3, 
out of tune second album Mucha B3 is from uh, this by is from Slow Dive uh, Rochelle and Rochelle and Rochelle and Neil Holstel uh, after the after the Slow Dive broke up it's not a bit of shoegaze but uh, it's more of into folk influence but the shoegaze element uh, are, are uh, still there second album released in 480 records Another upgrade is a uh, minor threat. I have this already, but uh, again, minor threat. The most, one of the most famous uh, album covers in punk, hardcore punk or emo. I don't want to make this that long, so let's go. Upgrade uh, first two and only albums with the Shoegazer from Boston. I think they're from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, this is the most one of the most essential Shoegaze albums out there. Uh, Drop 19's Delaware. I need to check my copy, but I just uh, I have already have bought of this one. But I, a friend of mine wanted to own a copy of this. Uh, best. Sir, I uh, forget the name, uh, but guy from Cebu. So yeah, just to upgrade, this is Cinerama uh, compilation. This is a compilation of their first for singles plus besides. Cinerama is uh, another band by David Gage of the the Wedding Present. I got this for like 100, so why not? Sugar Town. Uh, Another band that I bought, or another CD that I bought that uh, without listening to at first because uh, it's under Marena Records. Marena Records is one of the best in terms of indie pop. And upon googling this on uh, this one earlier, the two of the former members is from Friends Again, the eighties pop new wave band. So why not? Fantastic something um, songs in a small room again. Um, this is Shasta. I'm a huge fan of Shasta records. I am trying to collect all of their discography Spearmint awake away uh, First album this is kind of Britpop with a bit of shoegaze With a bit of shoegaze influence first album And this is the one that I've been dying to own. Oh my god. Um, does this is in. Shit, there's. Life without buildings, any other city. Uh, this is the US release with The Lightning as a exclusive drop. Uh, in the rock in general, but there's clearly that punk and post punk. They're from, they're from Glasgow. They're, uh, Punk and post punk influence, of course. Uh, the lean over is here. Uh, around last, the first month of January, it became kind of big on TikTok because the girl from Bibidubidu, I can't pronounce the name of the band yet, but I know it's it's the girl from Bibidubidu, uh, lip sync the lip singing the lean over song. And so yeah. This is the one that I'm really happy to own in this batch. That's all for this today's haul slash unboxing video. What's in my bag? Uh, background music is by uh, Moscow Olympics. Keep the avenues open. Um, uh, that's from the download card of the vinyl. I got the second. I got the vinyl. The second. The second. The second press. The second. Version. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Ingat.